A brand new large scale expansion for Sword Art Online Fatal Boot has been announced. Alice and Yuji are confirmed to arrive in Integral Factors Aincrad, SAO games coming over to Nintendo Switch, Asuna's Lovely Honey Days is confirmed for 2018, Aniplex promises an amazing season with Sword Art Online Alicization anime run, and Yosuke Futami is hard at work for a future Alicization game. Hey everyone, it's me GamerTurk coming at you from Tokyo Game Show 2018. Uh, well, not really from Tokyo, I'm, I'm sitting at my home, but, but the news that I shared on Twitter earlier today are straight from Tokyo, so let's get to them in order. After all, most of you don't even follow me on Twitter, so a video is required, so here you go. You can find the timestamps of the topics I'm covering today in the description or in the pinned comment. If you're not interested about a specific topic, you can just skip ahead. Now, there were plenty of guests at the SAO panel of Tokyo Game Show 2018. Shilika's voice actor, Rina Hidaka, along with Streya's voice actor, Sachika Misawa, were there and joining them, naturally, the gamer's producer, Yosuke Futami, was there along with Yasukazu Kawaii to speak about Integral Factor specifically. Kazuma Miki and Shinichiro Kashiwada were present from the publishing side of things. The event started with the participants looking back at what they promised last year in TGS 2017. And the most interesting bit here was Futami-san's Elicization game promise back then. He mentioned he had been working very hard the past couple of months to make an Elicization game a reality, but the progress was slower than what he had imagined, so he had to apologize for not being able to deliver on this promise today. So there you go guys, from a business standpoint as well as a game development standpoint, I was always talking about how the Elicization game was very unlikely to be announced today since Futami-san pitched the idea to Kawahara late February slash early March and since Elicization anime was not even airing back then and would take around a year to complete, I was not expecting an Elicization game to be announced today on this stage. Obviously, the development in such a case would have to be rushed and it would cannibalize Elicization anime run due to blatant spoilers, so it was natural that it wasn't here today. Highly likely that Kadokawa did not greenlight the idea until they got what they want with the anime run first, which is the priority of the series at the moment. Right afterwards though, the topic of Elicization continued as Kashiwada-san from Aniplex promised to make the Elicization anime quote unquote world number one. Naturally, that's an incredibly vague statement and that promise turned into an argument instead about what defines as the world number one. So he went on to rephrase his promise that they wanted to deliver a great story with amazing animation quality. And looking at the reports of the early premiere of Elicization episode 1, they are indeed delivering exactly that. It's airing in October 6th and will have 4 cores, so around 50 episodes, but you can have more of those information on my Elicization videos if you click the icon on the top right. Now Futami-san continued with his new pledge that he wanted to make SAO home console game sales into the 10 million sales territory, which which they currently stand at 4.6 million, but the announcements that followed this promise showed a very promising picture. Meanwhile, Kawaii-san promised to release SAO mobile apps in 196 countries, so these are indeed great news for those who have been commenting on my videos that they can't find Integral Factor in their app store. Something is coming for you guys, just hang in there. Login bonuses and returning player bonuses were announced for Memory Defrag, Tons of Diamonds, yada yada. Then we get to hear more about the Asuna dating app called Lovely Honey Days, the VR app. We didn't see much from the app, but they confirmed that it would be out in 2018 and that the pre-registration process has already been started. But then, the actual significant news started rolling. Alice and Yujiro have been confirmed for Integral Factor, which is an extremely interesting choice given the backstories of these characters. It was already confusing in the game verse, but while the logic did not match up perfectly in games like Hollow Realization or Fatal Bullet, the timeline at the very least did match up somewhat. Introducing these into Integral Factor where we just received floor 10 is stretching it way too far, way further than they stretched it with Leafa, Yuki and Shinon appearing on Aincrad, but hey, they are fan favorite characters now, especially with Elicization just on the horizon, so we may as well enjoy the company of these characters now. After all, Riki Kawahara, 
made a cameo on the stage via a pre-recorded video and asked how the two characters made it into Aincrad and Kawaii-san promised that the game would explain these mysterious circumstances and of course more events and rewards in Integral Factor have been announced. Aside from Kawahara, Asuna's VA Haruka Tomatsu as well as Kirito's VA Yoshitsugu Matsuoka made appearances as well via videos. If you're a PC player, this bit of news is exactly for you as Lost Song has been announced to get a PC release on Steam, leaving no SAO games unreleased on PC. Now you can easily enjoy all the SAO games on Steam on your PC, so I recommend checking my video on which game to buy by clicking the icon on the upper right corner as usual. Moving on, the biggest news we got from the panel. While an Elicization game is currently not slated, Fatal Bullet is receiving a large scale content drop sometime in the future. We got a trailer for it and mind you, you can find all the trailers through the, you know, icon on the top right as well. And this trailer features Sachi as well as the Diva Yuna from Ordinal Scale as a cameo. The new DLC is titled The Diva of the Snowfields, which is a reference to both Yuna and Sachi since both are considered to enjoy singing and of course snowy fields are there for Sachi if you watched the anime or read the novels. We know nothing much about the DLC but we did learn that it will take place after the main story rather than you know the previous DLC episodes that were prequels to the ending. And the scenes featuring Sachi and Yuna both seem to be their introduction scenes, you know, rather than proper action scenes involving them. So if we assume they're keeping to the same formula as they did with the previous DLCs, this does not necessarily have to mean that the entire DLC revolves around these two characters and that we may get some closure on Itsuki after all. But then again, the title of the DLC is, is an argument against this idea, so... Uh, I, I don't really know, it, it literally can go either way. Keep in mind that this is also not an episodic DLC and is specifically advertised as a large scale content drop and I don't want to praise myself too much but I have complained about how much the episodic formula hurt the previous DLC so I'm glad they came to the idea of a one proper DLC without the episode shenanigans. But it is not included in the season pass since it's an extra DLC that they announced just now. And while we do not know if it'll be paid DLC or not, chances are it will be a paid DLC, yes. Still, I'll let you know if we do get any more news regarding that. news regarding that and as usual Amazon affiliate links for Fatal Bullet and the season pass are available in the description for the previous content if you're interested and want to support my channel at the same time at no additional cost. Moving on, contending for the most significant news, after the popular demand, Hollow Realization and Fatal Bullet Complete Editions will be coming over to Nintendo Switch sometime in the future. The games on Switch will include all DLCs including the Fatal Bullets new The Diva of the Snowfields DLC that is gonna come out soon, but one thing to notice here is that the Switch versions won't be out immediately. They are being ported over by a separate team and will come out sometime in the future, so you may need to wait a little extra to play these games on the go, but still, especially Hollow Realization being the best Sword Art Online game there is in my opinion. I couldn't have been happier, now I just wish I had a Switch. As we come to the end, I want to share my thanks to my patrons who have supported me throughout. Along with you guys watching, opportunities provided by the SAO Vikia and my amazing patrons backing up my channel, I wouldn't be able to closely follow the news and share them with you like this. So do support me on Patreon if you appreciate what I do here and even if you're not in a position to do so, the least you can do is to follow me here and on Twitter at GamerTurk95 and hit that bell icon to get notified whenever I share these news. Once again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.